Welcome back guys, it's another beautiful Montana Monday. This week we're gonna take a look into the 2021 Montana High Country 334 bunkhouse. This is a bath and a half rear bunkhouse or loft style floor plan here. So some really great features. We're just over 37 feet, three inches, bell to bell on this coach, weighing it at 12,450 pounds dry. Uh, some nice things we'll find as standards on all of our Montanas or high countries. It's gonna have auto level with the high country. It's an electric auto level system here. Um, a nice thing with this particular plan is we've gone with dual awnings. So we've got a large awning up front with the secondary awning on our living slide back there, giving you tons of coverage out front of the RV. Um, as another standard here, we've got our massive pass-through storage due to the drop frame design that Montana is doing, giving you that added height. So putting things like folding camp chairs, Rubbermaid storage totes, anything along those lines, you'll have no issues putting into that storage bay. Of course, we've got our nice solid step entries on this plan. Uh, as well as on our secondary entrance in the rear that I want to show you guys. So a lot of times when you're looking at a coach that has dual entries, you may find the solid step on your primary entrance, but never on the secondary. Uh, so with the Montanas, we do have that on the secondary entrance, as well it is the assisted zero gravity stair system here, so very lightweight, uh, very comfortable stair system. Now I want to invite you guys inside and show you through the interior of this beautiful bunkhouse. So here we are just inside the rear entrance on the 334 bunkhouse in the bunk area. Uh, just to my right hand side here we do have two bunks, the top being a flip down or flip up bunk of course. Uh, we do have a nice window there as well, but the ability to flip this up gives you the added uh, head space you might need if you want to utilize this area as a sofa. Uh, now just over my left shoulder is a nice little half bath in here as well with the medicine cabinet, some storage and some toiletries. I'll let you guys check that out here. Now making our way into the living space, we do have a nice uh, wardrobe or storage area here for the guests in this bunk room, uh, but four nice size, fairly large shelves for anything they're bringing out. And then as we transition into the living space, the first thing I wanna point out is just above you guys is a big spacious loft. So as you turn into the living space, we've got this nice pull out ladder here that you'll see. It makes it nice and easy for guests or the little ones to make it up into that loft safely. Uh, up in that loft, we do have windows on both sides of the loft area providing some nice light, as well as a couple LEDs and some air ducts. Now, on the campsite or door side of the RV is our living slide. A nice thing I like to mention is that's going to provide the panoramic windows looking into your camp. So when you're sitting down, having breakfast, enjoying a meal with the family, you're not staring at the neighbors. We've also got our Thomas Payne recliners and the comfortable four-person dinette table here uh, that would fold down into an extra accommodation if you ever needed it. Now looking at the adjacent side of the RV, our entertainment center back here is directly across from the seating area. We call it the No Neck Wrecker Entertainment. We've got the nice LED fireplace below with the high definition TV. And then segueing into the kitchen area itself, we've got this center galley with the beautiful island, stainless steel sinks, uh, and then this year we've gone to the new suburban cooktop in the kitchen area. It just provides a nice residential look, as well as the 30-inch LG microwave. Behind me is the 12 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, as the 334 plan provides. We do also have the 335 available with a uh, 110 residential fridge, but lots of capacity in here for you guys for some of those extended trips. Lastly. We've got a great size pantry area here. There's a nice motion sensor light up top so you don't have to turn any lights on if you're going to grab a quick snack. And then we've got our coffee counter just behind me here so you can leave the coffee pot set up. You don't have to worry about storing that uh, every morning when you're packing up uh, for the day. Now I'll invite you guys up front and we'll go through the master bedroom and bathroom on this particular model. Making our way upstairs towards the master, a couple things I like to point out is having this uh, little coat closet area right by the door when you come in. We've got a couple coat hooks, spot to hang up the keys and a little cork board, maybe so you don't forget any notes or the grocery list. Uh, and just below that in the stairs, we've got our road vac, uh, central vacuum system, 
It's got the hose that's going to be stored just up front under the bed, but makes it nice and easy to keep it clean inside the Montanas. Now making our way up front, in the master bedroom we're going to have our king size bed on the slide out with some great storage just below that. You will see the uh, vacuum hose stored just below there as I mentioned previous. Now with this plan, nice thing we're doing is having the beautiful front windshield design up front here. We've also got great size drawers and full length wardrobes on either side. Now as I make my way by, we'll go towards the bathroom area. It is a dual entry bathroom here, so you get this entrance from the master as well as the hallway. But coming in, we have our washer dryer prepped closet here. Uh, it is a combo prepped unit. You would not be able to do this stackable uh, just with where that is located. Nonetheless, we've got our corner radius shower here providing some el extra elbow room to get cleaned up as well as added storage above the toilet uh, and above the sink area here with the medicine cabinet and vanity. So this has been our 2021 Montana High Country 334BH. Thank you for your guys' time. We look forward to hearing from you soon.